Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, K, man. I'm back at y'all with another motherfucking video, man, as I can see from the title. And back at y'all with another tornado video, man. Uh, now we are getting into the real time, man. Tornado Alley videos, man. First up, we got Tuscaloosa, man. Uh, I read up on it, man. So this did happen uh, April 27, 2011. Um, crazy tornado. I think this was part of an outbreak that happened around that time. So, so yeah, man. So we're going to get into this documentary, man. I've seen somebody actually rec um, recommended me to check out these. Uh, I've seen a few of them. There's a few of them that we're going to get into. I mean, first, we're going to go ahead and do Tuscaloosa. So basically, I'm going to um, set it up. I've seen it was about 40 minutes. So I'm, I'm going to set them to two parts. Uh, so yeah, basically, I'm going to set up to two parts. Um, yeah, we gonna um yeah. Uh, I'll probably do both. To, I'll probably do both tonight. I'll probably post part one tonight, and probably post part one and part two tomorrow, most likely. That's probably what I do. They'll both be twenty minute videos. Um, I'll probably end up doing both tonight, and then probably just posting one tonight and posting the other one tomorrow, most likely. We don't know. We'll see. You know what I mean? But regardless, y'all gonna get y'all gonna get both in the next two days for sure. Both parts. You know what I mean? There we go. Getting some, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, my birthday weekend is coming up. You know, my birthday is on, on Monday, man. I turned 23. You know what I mean? So this weekend, man, I'm probably gonna be celebrating my birthday and stuff. So I probably I don't know if I'll be able to get a whole bunch of videos in, but after that, we right back to work. You feel me? So, um, yeah. So man, um, y'all stay, y'all stay home, man. Let's get into this shit, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into this motherfucking video. That's crazy. Oh, no. wow. All I can think about was, is this thing coming from me? This thing is huge. It was utterly terrifying. Because I can't spill it. You could feel the power of this monster. Go back. I'm not kidding. It was right on top of us. That's the tornado right there. It looked like it had a mind, but it had personality. It's the mysterious moment of my life. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. We had severe weather that morning between 3.30 and 9 o'clock. And during that time, five people were killed and a quarter million people had no power. National Weather Service notified me that Tuscaloosa had a 40% plus chance of being hit by a tornado. It's important that we take heed of this and hopefully Tuscaloosa will come out unscathed, but it doesn't hurt for us to be prepared and ready for what lies ahead in the next few hours. At that point, I decided to go ahead and activate the city's incident command system, which is basically our emergency protocols. Mm. I love working in the emergency department because you have the opportunity to take care of people. It was a typical day in the emergency department, typical patients that we get every day. One of the paramedics mentioned that bad weather was coming in. One of the nurses and I walked outside and it was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. The problem we were facing was the fact that the sun popped out. And then you had a lot of people saying, well, everything's going to be okay. This is the kind of stuff where we really, really ask you to pay attention. The fact that the sun is out is the worst possible thing because that makes the air more buoyant and unstable. The uh, temperatures continue to warm and the uh, instability increases. And again, a lot of the severe weather parameters are just off the charts today. Looking at the data, we have a checklist of about 64 parameters that you need for a tornado. We had about 60 of the 64, they were just screaming, almost in extreme range, that any of these storms could erupt and go severe in a heartbeat. And all of a sudden, the atmosphere just started changing, the wind picked up, got dark. We knew we had something big coming. Woo, it's crazy. That particular day, we weren't doing any 
anything special. Uh, we'd actually had a couple of days of thunderstorms, and a very good friend of mine, Josh, uh, had been shooting. He was just playing around with a new video camera that I'd gotten not too long ago and was just trying to catch lightning. Uh, I'm actually, what, what was he recording? We've seen some of the stuff on the news about, you know, potential tornadoes, but that's kind of something that we get almost every single day uh, during the summer. So it wasn't really something that we really fretted too much about. I went to go out to uh, the front yard and I looked towards the front of my house where I saw my friend and he was like, look right over there. Holy You could just see movement and velocity. We knew that there was something going on around us that wasn't normal. We want you to be in a safe place right now. All of these are extremely dangerous today. I think some of the real heroes were our people in the field. If we just showed radar for a lot of people, it looks like a bucket of spill paint. But you show a live stream, I will tell you, people will do something. Look at the live stream. We've got uh, John Brown and Mike Wilhelm, two of our better sky watchers. I work for the state of Alabama, Department of Human Resources, but I've stayed in touch with weather and studied it a lot for probably about 25 years. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. I see a little faint glow underlying. I work with Sky Watchers for ABC 3340, and we were quite confident that there was a storm that was making aim on Tuscaloosa. Oh. It's rotating for sure. And it's lowering. I see a few little fingers there. And that particular day, every storm was isolated and it was uh, maintaining strength and it was rotating. It's starting to come into view. It's coming down to a point. It's right there in front of us. Right in front. We were looking at the storm and John says, Mike, a lot of people are going to die today and they just don't know it yet. It's facts though. It really is facts, man. That's crazy. student at the University of Alabama studying journalism. For about six years, I've been working at a local TV station in Tuscaloosa. It was while I was in one of my classes that we started getting word that the weather was um, going to be a little rougher than we thought, and so my professor asked if the station needed me, and at that point, I was able to go to the station, and that's when things really started to um, progress. West Alabama is bracing for more stormy weather. And the same system has already been blamed for several deaths and destroying many businesses and homes all across the South. For the latest, I'm the news director and anchor at WVUA TV. Being the news person, people are asking you, Lynn, is this going to be as bad as people say it is? And you really don't have any answers. It's really not in your hands. But at the same time, you're having to think about your own personal safety. This potentially could hit the building where we are right now. So again, get a low floor of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. We had converged in the studio to watch the tower camera, and we saw the tornado come down, take shape, and it became fairly large. Don't take a chance with us saying this is obviously a very dangerous situation where we're looking at. But then in just a few moments, we saw it lift back up, and it goes back up into the clouds. And yeah, it looks like it's lifting. You can feel that collective sigh of relief it appears that it's not on the ground at this second but and i said it's going to get angry and come back down even worse and in just a couple minutes it did exactly that uh, it looks like it's now touching down this is the west of Tuscaloosa. yeah we're seeing power flashes so we don't came back down me this tornado is now on the ground it looks like it's a now south of tornado we're watching live this is coming right towards tuscaloosa I've lived in Tuscaloosa pretty much my entire life. Um, I was out of school working for my dad at the time. I had one of my friends, uh, Nate Hewitt, with me. Oh my god, look at that fire. That is raging. The storm was pretty bad, and so we had actually left work a little bit early. 
personally driving, I couldn't see the storm that well. However, after the trees move, it becomes apparent that the storm is coming directly at us. Holy. There it freaking goes. That thing is massive. We need to go faster. It's coming right at us. That shit is huge, bro. Fuck. Never in my life will see this again. Oh my god. From where we were sitting on the interstate, having no idea where the storm's actually going. I didn't really realize the severity of the situation. You can see debris in the air. That thing is half a mile wide. Oh my god. Once I actually looked over, I didn't realize that we were nearly as close as we were when it was right on top of us. We need to, we need to go that way. Get fine. I'm not kidding. Bro, that shit was crazy. That's a true monster for real. God damn. No, it's just literally crossing right where they were, bro. Oh my god. It became apparent as to exactly how much damage was being done. It's, it's a thing, bro. If they wouldn't have backed up. What appears to be full length to oh my god. Worse. I mean, just everything and anything had been sucked up and was spiraling around a half mile circle. It's very hard to stay composed on the air because you know that if many people don't do anything in the path of that, there's a good chance they're going to lose their life. Bro, that sounds like something out of a movie, like for real. Stay sheltered. I have a wife and two children, but you cannot be fatigued, you cannot be distracted, you cannot be emotional. Nobody should Put be a camera for y'all real quick. was different on a lot of levels you don't normally see a very clearly defined funnel like you did with that tornado had multiple vortices meaning there was a lot of small funnel like shapes that circulated around the outside of the tornado itself debris everywhere now it's doing major damage in Tuscaloosa as we were standing there we were watching this come into a metropolitan area obvious it was a horrendous situation oh, no. that shit is insane bro that shit is insane i am a on-air personality program director for a radio station Tom Dilo. all of a sudden they started blaming the sirens Mm. Well, I know looking at something like that in person gotta be crazy. We're overwhelming. Right in front of the radio station. Look out at this cloud of black dust that just goes all the way up to the heavens. This thing is huge. It was breathtaking. This is a very large 
a tornado coming directly our way. This includes the University of Alabama campus. If you see anybody outside, tell them to get inside right now. The majority of people who were gathered in that studio, Tuscaloosa is home for them. This is coming right towards our television station. You could feel the power of the fear just radiating from people. You want to get everybody out of the hallway and into our studio if that is a possibility because uh, this is definitely a life-threatening situation. We just all huddled underneath our news desk and it was people that were working at the station as well as people that were just grabbed from outside in the hallway and told to come in. It was really utterly terrifying. It's moving like mad over there. We both begin to see kind of a torrential a movement of clouds, but it was so close to the ground. I mean, it looked like it was right behind another house. What is mm. that flying in the air? There's the breeze. There's the breeze flying in the air, dude. Right over there. Dude, that's getting loud. The rumbling of the ground and the pressure change and the sound rumbling of the ground came us. just imagine we bro oh my god going inside oh my god here give me that oh dude you can see all the debris up there yeah. oh dude that's wild oh it's right there that's the tornado right there you got still standing there bro going to the motherfucking house cushions and put them behind me and laid on top of my friend. Yo, this shit give me chill and I didn't even cat. What the fuck? This should not be giving me chills. Wow. 
while I was filming the whole thing, all I could think about was, is this thing coming for me? Oh my god! It looked like it was kind of making a turn for our direction. Holy get inside. Oh shit. We got back inside. And then the station went dark. giant black cloud that was staring at us oh my god the last time we had one this big was probably march 21st 1932 even before my time uh it destroyed so much <coughs> we were huddled in this room and we were surrounded this little television <coughs> this is where i've grown up this is where i have raised a family and now we were watching on live television the tornado rip through the heart of the city and that was the first moment for me where you get that weak in the knees moment it was traumatic <laughs> skyline boulevard here and the interstate 5920 the quietness in the room was amazing and then the tv went blank i believe the tornado at that point was about halfway through our city all right, this is a life-threatening situation. We have a very large tornado coming right into the center part of Tuscaloosa. This includes our television station. In that moment, you really don't know exactly what you're going to do. That's At crazy. some point, I started to pray. And this thing's coming right towards the University of Alabama campus. We're going to stay on air as long as we possibly can. Uh, we're getting power glitches. A very large tornado on the ground right now. Here. Then, boom. Just completely gone. Everything went black. So I grabbed my camera and I just started running up flights of stairs in the building. And as soon as I got out of the stairwell, there it was. And all you can do is just look. It's such an overpowering feeling to be eyeball to eyeball with a killer like that. Oh, that's crazy. That shit is fucking huge, bro. All right, man. That's gonna do it for part one, man. Um, next video we gonna just watch the rest of it, man. That's crazy, bro. Um, whew. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Brian. Just the people that just had to man, had to live through that, bro. It's crazy, bro. Like, I mean, I know, I know. Obviously, I want to be a storm chaser, but it's like me personally. I'm not gonna lie. The reason why I want to be a storm chaser is because for me, obviously, I'm fascinated with tornadoes. Something you know, I've always been fascinated with. Another thing is that I love to help people. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's a job where you can do both. You know what I mean? Where you can help because obviously, being a storm chaser, you are helping. You are helping people. You know, it's to help find better way you know to warn people you know another you know better way for better way to warn people you know for these tornadoes and stuff like that um but um but yeah man that's the reason why i want to come a storm chaser man just being able to just catch you know these this crazy footage of tornadoes man um and all that type of stuff and you know and being able to help people at the end of the day you know what i mean but um but yeah man that's gonna do for part one man we got tuscaloosa part two i'll be doing very shortly you know what I mean? So y'all stay tuned for part two, man. Y'all y'all let me know in the comments about how y'all like the uh video, man. Y'all let me know what other real time I probably I'm be honest with you, regardless of what if y'all say something or not, I mean I'm gonna do all of them. I'm gonna do pretty a good amount of them. I'll probably do this one. Next one I'll probably do I I'm choosing between Joplin or uh or more, but the more Oklahoma one. I'm really deciding. Um I've actually already done I've done a video on I've done separate videos on the Joplin tornado and the um and the more Oklahoma tornado. The Mokla material was a while back, a while ago. You know, I had been did that, but definitely um Joplin was kind of recent. I did that like last week. Um but yeah, so y'all make sure to go make sure to go check out that video. Um but yeah, man, that's gonna do it for part two, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um and uh yeah, man. Especially if you're new, man, join the family, man. You know what I mean? Me and my brother just started, man. We we've been making good progress with this YouTube stuff, man, and uh we really enjoy it, man. It's, um and in the, the day, I love doing videos for you guys. You know what I mean? So y'all continue. Let me know what y'all like. Um, and let me know how y'all like the videos, man. So, um, but yeah, man, that's gonna do it for this video, man. Peace, yes sir.